formed of well-needed native earth to return to the earth so that others can be born. To confirm my being. Nakash was born in 1939 in Kairana, India. His great-grandfather was a court painter in Emperor Jahangir's reign, and his father Abdul Basit was an accomplished illustrator. Jamil vividly remembers sitting next to his father, watching him illustrating books on Tib and Nafsiat. Jamil had a photogenic memory. His description of Kairana, its lands and culture, sound like Alice in Wonderland and makes one understand why the land was so fertile in the field of arts literature and music. And has produced immortals like Roshan Ara Begum, Abdul Karim Khan, Abdul Wahid Khan, Shahab Kairanvi and many more. Jamil got the seed of creativity from the highly cultured background he belonged to. Jamil studied miniature painting from Ustad Sharif for two years, but refused to take the degree from the college. He held a strong belief that it was knowledge he craved for, not a certificate. He was so much clear in his approach that no one could add to his brilliance and intellect. He was his own harshest critique, and thus he never followed any isms and never came under the influence of any art establishments. After leaving advertising, he alienated himself from all the frivolities and mediocrities of life and got totally immersed in his art and the activities which contributed in elevating his creative process for which he was born. In 1962, Jamil had his first solo exhibition at Lahore Arts Council. Jamil Nakash gained national and international recognition in his lifetime. His work is in the private collections of numerous art collectors, has been displayed in global museums and art galleries, and is routinely auctioned off at Sotheby's, Bonhams and Christie's. Jamil is a highly prolific painter. His artwork encompasses figurative painting, still life, calligraphies, Mergul miniatures. He is very knowledgeable in the traditional painting methods of the old masters. He combines traditional painting skills with personal vision. to create richly imaginative artworks in a contemporary manner. His figurative art exhibits a power of observation with classical expression, which bestows a natural elegance to his human figures. In addition to painting in oils, Nakash also creates stimulating drawings using pencil and coloured pencil on paper. In Jamil's art, drawing is an essential element. He had complete command and clarity on his line.
Every single line of his drawings is worth looking at. His lines determine the motion, direction and energy of his art. And keep the viewers engaged in the composition. His works are reminiscent of the images which reside in the realm of dreams and are informed by his many interests, including mythology, philosophy and science. He himself once said, I paint with all the feel of the land and culture I belong to. You may find my treatment to be modern, but it's certainly not derivative. The soul is not borrowed. Why he was so great, and is being termed as a painter's painter. Jamil was his own harshest critique, and has set extraordinarily high standards for himself. Not only did he set this site, he attained it, over and over again in hundreds of works as perfect as any mortal man could ever paint. To achieve the perfection, he would work on the visual structure of the painting until he felt it was perfectly unified and resolved, and there is no superfluous or uncomfortable fit. All the elements in his paintings are so finely tuned that they literally sing from the canvas in harmony. Each stroke played a crucial role in the visual structure of the painting. They are painted with the highest form of love, which sacrifices even oneself for the expression which is ultimately for the universe. In an almost godlike ambition, his paintings are all more than the sum of their parts. Jamil Nakash's power of art lies in the pictorial structure, which is actually constructed on the canvas. It is the architecture, the skeleton that the colors hang on, and the structure is not hidden behind the subject matter. The structure is the subject matter. Jamil Nakash is a man who learned the art of survival through constant struggle. He had to experience a journey full of pitfalls before he could finally succeed. He always believed art is a lonely struggle.